Hey, it's Bob Clark, and if you have trouble with your prospects trusting you and kind of believing what you're saying, then this one tip is going to change everything, so stay tuned. Okay, so, so recruiting and prospecting, especially if you're doing it online, is tough, right? Especially if the person doesn't know you. Okay, because there's going to be this immediate distrust, this immediate skepticism, this immediate feeling of this person's trying to scam me out of something, right? It's just the way it is online right now. And even in person, when you're doing belly to belly prospecting, it can be like that if people don't know you, right? So how do you get around that? How do you disarm that kind of distrust? Well, I was on a webinar the other night, and the person who was doing it is the top prospector in our space, uh, and he actually gave a tip out that I use personally, so I know it works. And, and it's really a game changer. It kind of makes you go from someone who's trying to get people to a, a consultant or someone who is just testing out to see if this is right for you. So here's the phrase that you can use when there's a high level of distrust. Okay, use this phrase. Say, this may or may not be for you, but, and then continue on with your, with your conversation. Okay, when you say this may or, not, may or may not be for you, but, what does that do? Number one, it relaxes people. If this person isn't hard selling me. They're not to get me. They're just they're just telling me something. Okay, it kind of disarms them, and it reduces their level of skepticism. Right? It just it does because it kind of brings you. It totally changes your posture and positioning in the conversation, and that's a huge thing. So you go from you know, please will you join me or please can I show this to you or please will you watch my presentation to hey. I don't know if this is for you or not, but I want to show you something and, and you know, take a look and see if it is for you. That's a huge game changer. Right? It's, a huge, it's, it's a huge conversation. Um, it, it just changes the whole thing. It changes the whole thing. So if someone, let's, let's take another step, another level here. If someone is really out there and they're, and they're really skeptical, they're really distrustful, you can really feel it, right? You can just feel it in the conversation. Then I even ramp it up a, a notch and I say, hey, this probably isn't for you, or hey, I, I doubt this is for you, but, okay, so you take it up another level, and that really sets them back. They're like, oh, wait, wait a minute, why, why wouldn't this be for me, you know? And, and so then you can continue your conversation, and yeah, this may or may not get people to join you. It may, not, may or may not get people to, to watch your presentation, but it, it does one thing for you, okay? It positions you as someone in authority. It positions you as something, someone with something of value, and that's really what you want and what you need when you're prospecting. So as I thought that was a really cool tip. I wanted to pass it on to you. Try it out in your, in your next prospecting conversation where someone isn't trusting you or has a high level of skepticism, and I think you'll see a big difference. Hope this has helped you out. If you want to see the full training that I watched the other day, click on the link somewhere around this video, and that'll take you right to the replay of that, of that conversation, of that training, uh, and I think you'll get a lot out of that as well. See you in the next video. Take care. For more training and tips on building your business part-time, visit bobandrosemary.com and be sure to pick up our free training, How to Build Your Business in Two Hours a Day or Less.